Greetings, fellow Swan Dive fans. I'm Damon Reynolds. And I'm Meg DeShorio. And this is Swan Dive video podcast number, number one. one. I guess. I guess. Or number nine. Number nine. Number, number nine. nine. Number <laughs> nine. <laughs> anyway. Some set B. I don't know. Um, yeah, crumble's all done, so we couldn't do another crumble video podcast, so we decided we'll do a swan dive video podcast. We liked them so much that uh, we figured we'd keep going. So. And, no, I mean, we didn't just like them. You guys really liked them, too. We got a lot of feedback on how much you guys enjoyed them, so yes. and we got a lot of encouragement to keep doing them. So. Yeah. Here we are. So here we are, swan dive video podcast. So hopefully we'll be able to update you every week or so on mm-hmm. what's going on with the company. Sometimes it'll be short, sometimes it'll be longer. Who knows? So, uh, first, major, major thanks. Oh, yeah. To everyone. Round of applause. Round of applause. To everyone who came out and saw the show. Mm -hmm. To everyone who worked on the show. Mm -hmm. Um, We could not have done it without our fantastic actors and our production team. We won't go into names and lists. But um, thanks to uh, the taxpayers in Minnesota and (laughs) the Legacy Amendment and MRAC for funding the show. Uh, thanks to uh, all of our volunteers, artistic company, and board members for helping out on the show. And really, thanks to you for yeah, coming. Yeah, thank you. you. If, um, if you, you made it. If, if you, you didn't. didn't. Um, it's okay. All right, next time. Next time. Um, but yeah, thank you to everybody who came. It was it was a really excellent process for us, and, and we got, I mean, nothing but compliments and, and you know, rave reviews on the show. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm personally, I'm really happy with the way that it came off. I am very happy with the way it came off. It was uh, an amazing show. It mm-hmm. was really amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, it was hard and it was challenging mm-hmm. and it was fun and it had all the great things that a theater process should have to it. Mm-hmm. So thank you to everyone. We can't really say it enough. So we'll just keep saying it. Thank you. 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 You'll probably hear us say thanks a lot. Okay, and on that note, um, we just wanted to let you know what what's coming up next for Swan Dive. Next. Um, I, I'm really excited about what's coming up next. Um, so last year, I launched this club. Well, I'm, I'm very, very excited. Um, last year, we launched this, this sort of weird, crazy thing. Um, we called it Vegetable Stock Theater. And it was just, um, it was readings. We did um, a performance of a script. Um, we did readings of scripts that I wanted to hear that I'm considering for, you know, future seasons. Mm-hmm. Um, it was free, and it was in our backyard. And it was really, really excellent because um, people would bring food and wine and and blankets and chairs and just hang out. Um, you know, we'd, we'd present something, whatever we were mm-hmm. presenting that night, and then people would talk about it and, and hang out a little longer, and it was just sort of a really excellent experience, yeah. I feel like. I don't want to minimize either the fact that we presented the world premiere of oh, a yeah. new work called Exhausted Paint, mm-hmm. The Death of Van Gogh, which went on to the Chicago Fringe Festival yes. and did outstanding. Mm-hmm. A great, fantastic mm-hmm. show. Mm-hmm. Um, we also read with the playwright uh, a brand new work, and that playwright is in grad school now, working on developing not only that play but other plays. And yeah. and uh, you know Jeremy Motes, shout out, will go far. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Justin Maxwell, who wrote Exhausted Paint, is going to continue to work with us. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And Sean Boyd, who was in Exhausted Paint, has launched off to LA. Yeah. So I mean, this is this is you know was, this was, was great. great. Like it was, it was a really fan good. fantastic summer. Yeah, we did it really was. Four weeks, um, yep. each uh, one night each weekend of uh, yep. presenting stuff. Yeah, so. it was awesome. So we decided it was kind of an experiment to begin with. Yeah. Um, but it went so well that we decided to continue doing it. So that's happening next. Vegetable Stock Theater is up next for us. Um, yeah. I don't and think we're we'll, expanding it. Yeah. I mean, oh God. Yeah. Um, so we're going to have, um, we're presenting two new works. Mm-hmm. Um, one of them uh, is called Autopia for Pigeons and it's by Justin Maxwell. 
the man who is behind uh, Exhausted Paint, The Death of Van Gogh. Amongst um, other things. He's Justin. Oh, yeah. If you don't know Justin, he's 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 back and forth between here and New York City. He's mm-hmm. well produced. Mm-hmm. He's been through the Playwrights Center. Well, he's an excellent playwright. And Justin is is fantastic. Yeah, so so, um, so I'm, we're excited about that. Yeah. And then we're also presenting another new work called um, tentatively right now. It's called Hug of, Hug of War. Um, <laughs> the Hug of War. The Hug of War. It's got a Hug the. of War. Oh, hug does of, it have a that? It does. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's like the um, the. Which the is band. sort of a collaboration uh, between Josh Vogan, Jason Vogan, Megan Bren, Brian Grosso, Damon, and I. Mm-hmm. Lots of different brains sort of working on that. We don't know which what is this gonna is. going to be awesome. Yeah. I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be fan fantastic. Um, is that bad? We'll Should beep that out. That? We'll beep that out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, then we're also going to do a reading um, of a script that I'm excited about called A Sleeping Country. Um, we're going to have some storytellers. Mm-hmm. We're going to have some poetry readings. Mm-hmm. Um, and who knows what else? I, I, maybe some live music. I don't know. Maybe there might be like a, 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 a craft fair bread sell. I don't know. There's there's all kinds of ideas for what could happen. There might be a little market that pops up around this. I mean could be cool so we've got a lot of different ideas and a lot of different people who are interested in yeah. being a part of it yeah. um it will happen uh the latter half of august and the first half of september probably over six weeks mm-hmm. um probably on saturday evenings probably around five o'clock so what you should do because there are a lot of probably is in that sentence is um every once in a while tune in to um swanedtheater.org mm-hmm. um, and we'll have lots more information on there yep. about what's going on and when it's going on yeah. and what's happening on what nights if you follow um, us on Facebook that'll yeah. really be really easy to yeah. see what's going when and then so. also if we continue to do these podcasts we'll have those announcements in here as well which we will I think so um, they're fun yeah then um, there's the good stuff there it is so once again thank you thank you thank you thank you very much um, for your support of Crumble um, mm-hmm. for everybody that worked on Crumble um Stay yes. tuned for. Yeah, stay tuned. Uh, there probably be there might be a fundraiser between now and vegetable stock. You never know. It's true. Could be an event. Could be something. Okay. Something going on. Mm-hmm. Stranger things have happened. True. So stay tuned. More podcasts. <laughs> we'll probably be back next week. We'll see. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.